YouTube, it's your boy Black Crystal Barber up and ready to show you guys a brand new tutorial. In this video, I will be demonstrating on how to do a high table fade. Stick around for the end of results. Okay, you guys, the very first thing I do is grab that comb and comb my client's hair. Now I'm gonna tell you one thing about the comb. The comb will get thoroughly through the hair because if you were to take a brush and brush on top of the hair before the haircut process, your fade will not fall in right. The comb itself grabs every inch and gets down to the root of the hair. So make sure you grab that comb because actually the comb itself picks up the hair more than a brush because a brush will lay the hair down. So considering using the comb, please do so. Okay fellas, the very first thing my client asked for was number two all over. So what I did, I grabbed the number two guard and I slapped him on my Oster Fast Feed. And remember to always comb as you cut because if you just do straight cutting without combing, man, you probably end up having skips all over your client's head. So remember to always comb and cut or comb and brush considering the facts because that's the way you always know that your work is going to be clean as you cut your client's hair. So please continue to watch so you can see what I'm talking about. Alright guys, after I get through cutting my client's hair down to a number two, then I grab my NST eyeliner to make my first initial guideline. Remember, whatever you do to one side, I always do the same thing on the other side. So the way I'm making his initial guideline is like in a rainbow shape because it's going to give him that burst fade effect. So stick around and please hit that subscribe button while you're watching my video man because hey, at the end of this haircut tutorial, you're going to want to subscribe bro. So please stick around. After my first initial guideline, I grab my Oster Fast Feet. I open them up and I go up a quarter of an inch or a whole inch. But please be consistent or how you cutting the hair because you want to come back to have enough room to fade. So stick around and watch the end of this tutorial and you will see how the fade will fall into place. Okay, now look, check this out. I grab my number two, then I go against the grain just to knock a little buck down because you see how thick his wave is right there? I need to fade within that wave, so I don't want to knock too much down. So as you gradually see me just combing through his wave, I'm trying to thin that little spot out right there so it can be a better fading transition. After I knock the book down with the number two, I then go back with the number one open. Then I start to gradually go up another inch just to start a new initial guideline. But do not go too far up in that two open because that one open will make a big plug in the head and that's something that every client do not want. So be very generous when you cut your client's hair because some people hair are real coarse. Some people hair can't take cuts the way it should. But just be real generous with the cut. As you can see, that that number one open is gradually fading out that first initial guideline. Then I will follow back and do a little detail work. Continue to watch. All right, YouTube. Now check this out. I just want to tell you guys something. When I first started doing the fade with the zero guard close, I always used a whole blade. But I taught myself to always use the corner because you can knock that fade out in less time. So always take your time. Don't forget to brush or comb as you go. And remember to always adjust the clippers as needed. It don't matter what guard or blade you have on your clippers, but always adjust so you can always work within that fade so you can have a tight transition at the end of the haircut. All right now, 
I just want to let you guys know this. I do not have my Clipper Zero Gap, but I do have them open a little bit. Now check this out. You want to do a little adjustment work on this right here. To remember, I always start with your Clippers closed so you can knock that first line out. Then gradually open your blade so you can always see the transition like I just did right there. So remember to always use the corner of your blades. In certain parts of the hair, you might need to use the whole blade, but just only on the corner when you're trying to do a tight blend. The back is just like the side. There's no difference. Whatever you did to the side, I always go back and fall in and do the same thing at the back. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fast forward this part until I get up to the line up. The very most important part of the whole haircut process is the lineup. Remember to always start in the middle. A lot of barbers do start on the side, but I've been cutting hair and I always taught myself to start in the middle because you have a more equilateral measurement. So what I do, I start in the middle and work my way to the right or work my way to the left. It don't matter which way you're working your way to, but always be consistent and even with everything. Lineups are just like doing math. Whatever you do on one side, do it on the other side so it can equal up. Now when it get down to his bars, I hold my trimmers a whole different way. I hold my trimmers like I'm writing because it's more of a comfortable way of me lining his side because the bars will be straighter if you hold your clippers differently. That's the way I do it. I'm not trying to go out there and tell you guys how to cut hair, but every barber has their own way or their own technique of cutting. But I performably use my trimmers differently. But in a way, the lineup is still going to be the same. I just want you guys to see that side view of how my clients blend starting to take effect. YouTube, this is the cut, and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. While you're hitting that subscribe button, go on over there to Instagram and follow me at black underscore prince 79. It's your boy Black Prince the Barber out with them fresh brand new cuts. And if you like it, you already know to hit me up. Big shout out to all my subscribers out there, man, for subscribing to my channel as well, man. Big shout out to you guys, man. Because if it weren't from you, I won't be able to present the work that I'm perfecting right now on all the guys that's coming in and get that fresh haircut from their boy Black Prince the Barber. But once again, if you like the tools that I use in this video, man, I will leave the links in the description below. So it's your boy Black Prince the Barber out with them fresh brand new cuts. Hit me up. Oh, and one more thing before I go. May God bless.